Okay, this is uh, Carl Irwin, and uh, this is just a quick rundown of what, what I've got going on here, because the big question is about Jack in Linux, uh, and specifically just Jack audio, only the audio side of Jack, trying to implement this on MuseScore. And the point I've been making uh, all along here is that I don't think you need it. Uh, there's a, a desire to do this, but those people that, if there are anybody, if there is anybody that's on the bandwagon for jack audio just to have audio routing you already have it um, the question is is are you using pipewire now pipewire is becoming the standard audio service for linux on most distributions uh, it's what everybody's kind of writing their programs for and it's the reason why programs like q uh, q uh, q tractor and ardor are maintaining their jack side because Jack won't be antiquated. It will actually be continued via pipe wire. Uh, the difference is, is that you won't actually have to depend on the Jack back end. You'll be dealing with the pipe wire back end doing emulation. And the whole goal behind that is to take Pulse Audio, Ulsa, and Jack and put them into one seamless environment where you can run multiple applications on different services at the same time and you can even route them to each other. Uh, so check and see if you're running Pipewire. If you're not, install it. It's really not a difficult install. Uh, the builds lately are, are extremely stable. Um, it's been going for quite some time. And as I said, most distributions are already implementing it by default uh, as a default uh, service. So obviously MuseScore 4 is running on uh, Alsa because there is no jack. So listen. We get sound. Okay, so there's those wonderful Muse sounds that we've come to enjoy uh, running on this is Muse score uh, 411. And let me see if I can find it here just to prove it. Uh, yep, 411. Okay, so that's what we're on. And of course, there is no jack enabled on this yet. And as I said, all, I also have um, our door. I've got our door running here. Uh, and again, just one more time looking at uh, the synaptic i see you can see i have pipe wire of pipe wire jack pipe wire pulse pipe wire also all the pipe wire modules in fact if i type in pulse audio uh, i don't even have pulse audio installed because you don't need it now i believe i do have jack d installed it's not using it but because some of the applications i think q tractor specifically looks for jack d uh, you need to have it available just so that it'll it'll run some of those applications might require the actual uh back end to be present just because it's it's doing some uh, uh library lookup or whatever with that ex that, that that module but it's actually using pipewire pipewire is what has been configured on the system to run so it's using pipewire jack um if you take a look here um i've got our door running and so you can see our door is running uh if i open this up whoops we are running jack okay so now our door can run also in pulse audio but you don't have to you don't have to switch it. You can keep it on Jack, and you can keep running Jack. Now, here's the other piece of uh, uh, magic that you need. You need to have something that's going to manage your session. You've got to have some other application that is going to be dealing with routing. I am using Carla Patch Bay. There are other, uh, there's other applications that will do that. But you'll see what I have is Pipewire, Ulsa, MS Score, Muse Score 4 Portable. My output is going to my card, and then I also just drop my output into this recording input on our door, which is running in Jack. I've got also over here, I've got Jack here, and Pipewire doesn't care. Pipewire doesn't care. You already heard MuseScore playing. Now, let's record it. I have this arm to record. You can hear, by the way, you can hear Zenad uh, uh, sub effects. <laughs> I've got it just to show you. I have an instrument open right now. Uh, here's a, a something to record on. I'm armed to record. Uh, let me hit re hit play to record. If we go up here, we'll hit uh, play on our view score. Again. And we got stuff going on. You can hear it. And you can see it. I'm recording directly into a Jack environment from Alsa coming out of MuseScore 4. And this is my point. This thing that we're asking for in uh, MuseScore for Jack audio only, you don't really need it. You already have the capable capability to do that. Uh, let's stop this back here. 
just to prove the point, we'll go back here to Q Tractor. We'll drop our cursor back here and we'll hit play. And there it is. You can see that I've recorded that and it's high fidelity. It's perfect. Okay. So, and obviously, because you can do that, you can run this through any other kind of Jack Aware uh, plugin because you can route it via pipe wire in any other kind of patch bay that will see both of those things like Carla. So anyway, that's, that's the situation. I don't think people are aware of that. I think it's not worth going after Jack audio specifically and exclusively in MuseScore 4 because you just don't need it. You just don't need it at this point in time. Um, you can do this. I've done this exact same thing with Q-Tractor, which is Jack only. It doesn't even have the ability to switch to Ulsa or Pulse Audio. You have to use, excuse me, use Jack with that. Um, also, um, I would point out that the one benefit to Jack that we're missing out here uh, missing out on here is this issue of transport. We don't have MIDI timecode transport and MIDI routing coming out of uh, MuseScore. That's the only reason to add Jack that I can see at this point. The audio thing's covered via Pipewire, the, the most popular and quickly becoming default audio server. It's already covered in that respect. Uh, you don't really need to change the program, but you don't have the transport. Um, Jack Transport works through pipe, pipe wire. So I can do synchronization with a Jack Aware program and a video uh, player that is also Jack Aware, like XJDO, or actually what I like to use is Blender. Blender is Jack Aware. So I can use Blender as my video playback, and I can even put other tracks in there in the video sequence editor, and I can uh, layer up various different sound sources plus uh, syncing to picture uh, from. Uh, anything that's Jack aware will run the transport like MuseScore 3. So that's what we need. That's what we need. We need to be able to do these kinds of things because the audio thing is already covered. All the audio stuff, you already have capability here via pipe wire. You just need to, you just need to get up to date on your sound service. Uh, shift over to pipe wire. Very robust engine. It's been been uh, implemented in a lot of different distributions now. So anyway, just wanted to show you that I've done this on on several different uh, um, systems. It's not just you know on this one system it works, but it doesn't work anywhere else. Again, Ubuntu Studio twenty two point four. It's not even a very strong computer. It's just a Core i five, uh, eight processors. Um, you know, it's not just eleven, twelve, twelve gig of RAM. So that's it. You know, this is this is what I'm talking about. Um, you just have to check your sound service, make sure you're running the pipe wire emulation and you can integrate just about anything, uh, uh, through that. So anyway, good luck with that. Happy composing, happy mixing.